Hey guys, RailChief74 here, and welcome back to another catalog review here on my channel. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a better overview of the 1956 Flying All catalog. So special thanks to my good friend George, who is also a TCA member, who sent me this catalog late last year during the Christmas season. And for those of you guys who do know, if you do collect post-war Lionel trains and rolling stock, then you might be aware that 1956 was also the very last year that Lionel has made a profit on anything post-war post related. Now if we take a look, better look at the cover here, we can see there are a few nicks and scratches and not only the ink but also in the paper as well. But the one thing I absolutely love that everything is very crisp and clean on the catalog cover itself. And if we take a look at some of the locomotives that are on this page, we can see we have the return of some icons, such as the 736 Berkshire with smoke, headlight, and magnet traction. We also have the introduction to the 2350 New Haven Electric. We also have the 3360 Operating Burrow Crane, which was a brand new motorized unit, along with the 3927 track maintenance car, as well as the 3530 generator car. And then finally, on the left corner of the catalog, we have the return of the iconic 2360 Congressional set, headed by a Tuscan Red GG1. But if we flip the catalog over to the back end of the catalog, we can see that the artwork continues on the very last page here, and we can also get a better look at the Congressional set itself. And this was also the year that Lionel introduced their legendary mascot, Lenny the Lion, with his little iconic Lionel L on his engineer's cap. And also on the back, we do have the introduction of two other brand new cars, such as the 3650 searchlight car with the removable searchlight, as well as the operating 3424 brakeman car. And then on the bottom here, we have an advertisement for fishing rods and tackle boxes, which Lionel was trying to branch out into other ideas besides trains. But anyway, enough of me babbling along. Let's go ahead and open up the catalog here. We'll take a better look at a lot of their items that were introduced during 1956. So as always, sit back and relax, and I hope you guys will enjoy today's video. So let's go ahead and open up the catalog here. On our first two pages, on page two and page three, we have the demonstration or a little sneak peek of the 520 Lionel Lines 027 GE 80 ton electric type locomotive, which features two freight cars, a caboose, track, and a transformer. And this family that's drawn here on page three seems like, seems like they seem to be having a really good time operating this engine. And I mean, who wouldn't? Next up, we have the 628 Northern Pacific 44-ton switcher, and they also provided a passenger train, not for the Northern Pacific, but also for another road name, which I'll get back to in just a moment. And then on page five over here, we have a little diagram on which versions of the 44-tonner that Lionel offered during this time, such as the 627 Lehigh Valley in the red and white paint scheme. We also have the 628 once again featuring the northern the northern Pacific. And then finally we have the 629 Burlington in the silver and red which is the locomotive that's kind of hinted at at the top of page four right over here. Here on these two pages, we have some 027 switcher type locomotives with a steam and a diesel engine. Here at the top, we have Lionel's 040-1615, and this is actually the second attempt at making this model here. And then the second engine that's listed is this beautiful 621 NW2 Jersey Central. And once again, just, just I just can't help but appreciate the artistry and the illustration of the trains as well as the accessories and freight cars here. This Baltimore and Ohio one is definitely at the top, at the top of my list. 
And over here we have the return of the Milwaukee Road freight set as well as the Burlington passenger train. And here on the, both of these pages we have two different variations of the Milwaukee Road freight set. Here we have the 2065. Again, the same thing with this locomotive too. And then over here we have Lionel's second, second attempt at making the 027 2243 Santa Fe F3 freight set. And then we also have the introduction to the 2240 Wabash, which replaced the 2367 from 1954. And Ironically, it's still listed on page 14 here, the 2367, of course. Here on these two pages, we do have two train master diesels, including a very sharp looking seaboard in the red and black paint scheme, which also does come as a freight set. Now for the 2331 Virginian, Lionel decided to change its color scheme from black and yellow to blue and yellow. And ironically, this was also the same time that the real Virginia Railway decided to follow in Lionel's footsteps, supposedly. And then on page 17 here, we have the most rarest Lionel item to come out of their factory in Hillside, New Jersey. This is the 2341 Jersey Central FM, and it comes with three passenger cars. Now, I already did a little history video on the 2341 but I didn't really go into too much detail. I will say there are two different variations of the 2341. The first variation has a dull finish to the paint, and then the second version has a more glossier finish. And the Lionel only came out with six or seven of these units during that time. So this thing is extremely rare. Next up, we have the 2350 New Haven. Just like with the Milwaukee Road and the 2065, we have two different freight sets. You can either have one with one operating freight car or the other set, which features two operating freight cars. Here on pages 20 and 21, we have our top of the line steam locomotives, such as a 646 Hudson freight set we also have a 665, and then finally we have this 736 Berkshire freight set, which is one of my most favorite post-war train sets ever. Now the only two cars that I'm missing with the actual set is the piggyback loader, as well as the 3620 searchlight car. And then over here we have the introduction to two more F3 locomotives for 027, and these are the 2368 Baltimore and Ohio and the 2378 Milwaukee Road F3 and B unit. Here we have the 2360 Congressional set again, and we also have the Brunswick Green version numbered 2360-25. Here we got our transformers. We got two more F3s that we've seen in that we saw in 1955's catalog. Here we got the motorized units as well as a 2016 Lionel steam locomotive. Here we got some more operating cars, such as the 3356 Santa Fe horse car and corral. We got the generator car once again. We got the burrow crane, the barrel car. I mean, you name it, it's pretty much here. Here we got Lenny the Lion again, explaining that each and every car on these pages are brand new. So that was very bold and creative advertising on Lionel's part. Now the 6376 circus car is also very rare and Kind of hard to find. And then over here we got some new paint schemes for the 64-64 boxcars. Both the MKT 6464-3050 MKT car as well as the 
325 Baltimore to Ohio car are also extremely hard to find. Stop, look, and listen. Your new in 1956 accessories are here, such as signals, semaphores, a steel girder bridge, the new 465 sound dispatching station, the 464 sawmill, and the 342 culvert loader. Now, what's unfortunate about the dispatching station here is that 99.9% .9 of these accessories have been victims due to battery leaks. So the speakers no longer are functional, but with a little bit of tinkering and some maintenance, you could probably get them to work again. But like I said, it's a lot of hard work and I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with mine, but I guess we'll see what the future holds, I guess. Here we got some more accessories. And then on our last two pages here, we got our track sections, such as switches, cross bucks, and smoke pellets. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little review on today's episode of Real Chief 74. So let's go ahead and wrap everything up here. So as always, my name is Mike. I really hope you all have enjoyed watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other projects that I upload here on my channel. And don't forget, I'll be doing a review on the reproduction 2341 Jersey Central FM from 2008 pretty soon. And I'll also be doing another live stream this Thursday around 8.30, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. But until then, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in my next video.